Your know, white voice is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are, bro. Did you hear your white voice talk? again? What's everybody worried about? Yeah. If Patrice O'Neal's alive, you can say that. You can say that. <laughs> yo, Bobby, pero when you put that shit out, you look sexy. And I was like, yo, mom, buy these shit, bro. He was ruining this nigga. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Dude, I just kept telling my mom, all I want is sunglasses. I just want sunglasses. And she's like, how do you get a pair of sunglasses? What? What happened? I yeah, that was, an, that, was a, that was one of my old sponsors. We got a new sunglass sponsor. Shout out to Eden. Shout out to Eden for our sponsors. Guys, Shout this, out is, this is Dope Dope and Dine, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting next to me is your other co-host, Kevin Sanchez. Kevin, how you feeling? Yo, I feel all right. Is my shit up? Am I, just I feel great, there? actually. My man. Feel good? The great Phil motherfucking Phil Duncan! Duncan! Hey, just had styling it on him right now. You know I had now. to come over here yo, and stun on you hoes one yo, time. <laughs> Yo, he came over here the first. I, I've never met Phil until today. Phil was so chill. Chill, until but then the he comes sunglasses in. Sunglasses got on. He got, but it, uh, he comes in. He goes, "What up, baby lungs?" Like he was so <laughs> no, wild. No, with no, it. no, because he was outside and I was. Uh, we was smoking. He was like, "They was like, you want to smoke?" And he was like, "No, I shouldn't because the allergies." And I coughed so <laughs> much. I was like, "Don't blame that shit on allergies, Kevin, you little you, bitch lungs." I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say recently you got a little <laughs> bitch made with the weed. Yo, bro, I'm not smoking as much, you know what I mean? You I don't want Phil to know that. You know, I I'm, felt, listen. Do you, hey, so as of recently, you have been talked about this. You've been smoking less weed. Do you feel there's a little bit of a stigma now where, like, all your friends are smoking, like, two blunts? I'm always offering you bong rips, and you're like, nah, bro, I'm good. Do you feel like a silent judgment coming your way? All the time. You guys put me down. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I don't, I don't really care, but I do wish I want to smoke Why are you smoking more. less? Yeah, I, I was going to say, what made you stop smoking? Um... Honestly, bro, I just wanted to. This is gonna sound mad fucking weird, but I just wanted to be in my own thoughts. I wanted to see how I'm really thinking. Whose thoughts were they when you hit the weed? Uh, it's not mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the same voice, yo. That's hey, a, that is a fun intro. Like, <laughs> what? Who? Who's the voice? Like who's who's monologuing when you're high? Is you like your? Is it like a family member? Is it like a famous? It's person? a dude too loose with my life. Oh. It's a it's a guy like yo, bro. You don't really need to go to work right now. Oh, it's one of your like brothers. Yeah, almost. yeah, yeah. It's like it's, when you get high, your, your brother's mindset come out. Kind of, yeah. Or like the mindset of like, yo, none of this matters. Oh, that's no, that's just my normal mindset. That's I'm your like, normal. Nigga, what the? No, it ain't nobody's voice. It's just it's the other side. It's like, do you even really Dude. need this job, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is rent, motherfucker? It's so crazy. <laughs> Weed just makes me want to play like Mario Golf all you're, day you're not the only one bro we did. bro i just want to sit Pokemon. down in a couch and play some mario golf also i just start playing mario golf <sighs> what a game dude does anyone else here have a switch who's a switch in here switch no nah, i'm not. an adult oh yeah, listen nigga, don't i got shit to do by the way i wish being, i could just pull out the switch being an adult is owning a switch that's true but listen i mean i'm a shitty adult as it is so i don't really need no switch to add to my <laughs> detrimental downfall i didn't buy the ps5 because of that shit Oh, I just broke. I couldn't. Oh, me too. Kevin, Kevin, you, you Kevin, Kevin, I was, like, I was gonna say, stop that. acting like you had access. Hey, to they wanted PS5. about a stack for that. I was yeah. like, nigga, that's like shit, like two months worth of meals. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you eating five hundred dollars? You know what? <laughs> no, that's I ain't right. eating that much. That's about right. I'm about to say, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your setup here. Wow, you definitely eat five hundred at least, Phil. <laughs> this keeps happening, <laughs> Phil. Yeah, yeah, Phil. Real, hey, if I want your yeah. friend, I wouldn't even say I know, that I know, to you. I know, you know I know, what I'm bro. saying? I, just I said like, a joke to Kevin the other day, like, I, like a, just a fat joke, and he goes, bro, you're like the fourth one today. Like, what, am I doing something wrong? Nah, you know, you know what it is? <laughs> people feel comfortable right around you. You just, you Make have people good, too comfy. Yeah, bro. as soon as I met him, I started talking shit. Didn't notice, you know man. A second, you're like the those. memory foam mattress of comedy. Damn. I don't. I, don't. I feel comfy. <laughs> it's comfortable around me. I know. Like, you're just like, 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 you're the better mattress. <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. Still stained. St hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, I still not replacing that mattress. Oh. Um, I do want to talk about something Dylan did to me. That. Oh, you said you realized something about me. Is that I, this? No, I realized something about myself because of me. Because of you. Okay. So we're in front of the stand, and I realized that like I don't like when another man disrespects me in front of women. Of I I forgot it, it, that it took you. I forgot. 31 years to realize you didn't like to be punked like no bitch yeah. in front of some women? No, no, no. I had, Yo, I'm I telling you, <laughs> those sunglasses do something different to the brain. I you know. put on sunglasses, you're just saying some wild, wild shit. shit. Well, Phil, I, I'm just saying. He said, I'm just now realizing I don't like being disrespected in front of women. 
Brother. It was just the way you said it. You had Jameson. You have Jameson in your cup. Sunglasses on. You went, man. He, he you, said it, it like took a uncle. Took you thirty one years. Let me tell you something, nephew. Nephew. I hate nephew, bro. Hey, let me tell you something, nephew. You're slipping on your pimping back. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 tell me some more. I'm sorry. Uh, what I gotta do? Let me tell you something. See, you can lead a hoe to water. Oh, but you can't make a thing. Yeah. Oh man. shit. <laughs> Tran- uh, translation for all the um, unurban people: um, you That's cannot. All our you cannot. Um, actually, I don't, honestly, he I don't, don't even know. know. Yeah. He's about the urban know. dictionary. <laughs> <and shit. laughs> no, give, give me a second. I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> no, but wait, no, but you're right though. Nobody wants to feel disrespect. Like it's one thing to talk so shit about somebody in front of your homeboys, but it's some chicks that you ain't never met before. You try to show out on me. So, di- so, so tell us a story. So, so you outside so in, front I'm, I'm in front of the stand, and deal is with this girl. I think she's a comedian. And Dylan's like, yo, you met Calf? She goes, yeah. He called me fat once. Which is wild. I didn't call her fat. But she had so much pizza. I said, is that all for you? I don't know why I said that to her. But I did. And whatever. We chilling. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, and Dylan goes, she asked me a question out of nowhere. I don't even know why she asked this. But she goes, where do you live? And uh, I hesitated. Right? Because I, I just got a place in the Bronx. <laughs> and I've been living with my mom. For the last 30 days. Because I was in between places. You ain't got to explain shit to me, play. I've been there. <clears throat> so Dylan goes, cuts me off. She goes, why did you hesitate? And I was like, oh, because. He goes, I got this. Because he's either in his mom's place, my couch, or the BX. Oh, By the way, and I'm oh right. Oh, my God. I was right. I was speaking yeah. truth and Yo, honesty. And this is the problem. I... Uh, to tell you the truth, I really wanted to invoke violence. That's that, on that's that subtle hate. That's a subtle. I, I was not what. That's, I, not that's hate. subtle hate. You know what I yeah, mean? That's not it's hate. It's low key. Nah, nah, it's nah, subconsciously. That's love. You, uh, nah, nah, but, nah, you know nah. what? Motherfuckers used to do this shit to me. I know exactly what you're going through. So I, I've been through Three, my seventy two hours, bro. Been thinking about it, motherfuckers. When I when I first got here, I was struggling. So I was couch hopping, homeless, whatever the fuck you. I was out here. But when I finally did get on my feet, I remember I'd be at the bar sometime at one of the uh, in the in the village at one of the bars, and comedians would walk up to me if I was talking to a chick, and they were like, they were like, oh Phil, they were like, I don't know why you're talking to her. Where are you gonna take her to the two train? Oh, and and man, it's like you know, I know them, but at the same time, it's like I really will beat your ass. So like, stop playing with me, Kevin. Oh. Kevin. <laughs> you Yo, need Phil. To... So this is interesting because I know what he's about to say. He's about to say this is the realm of comedy. <laughs> No, 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 no. Right? no. That's not what I'm, a, that's not what I'm I feel like say. I'm about to hear that, and that's gonna infuriate that's not, me. That's not what you're gonna say. Let me, let me talk. Let me, let me. I, you're overthinking how important that comedian chick was, and she's like, I'm gonna say this. It had nothing to do with her status, but that it had a, everything to do. Not for referral, or just what's that? I mean, uh, it had everything to do with like did this man just disrespect. I haven't felt that in a minute. Okay, I felt, okay. You know when you uh, school lunch table embarrassed? Yeah, that's how I felt. <laughs> That's I don't even I want this anymore. <laughs> Nigga threw away all the chicken nuggets. <laughs> and then the teachers come up to you like, are you still, you're hungry. Let me get you some pizza. I'm not hungry. I swear to God, I'm not Yo, hungry. No, nah, but you know what? I'm glad you got this off because this quickly turned into a red table talk. And, I'm, <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm in the right mindset for this. Because oh, yeah. you know, you're good not to hold that shit in. Because sometimes people... Do kind of just shrug shit off his jokes, but if it was really on your spirit, you had to. No, you, you got to bring no. it. You got to bring it to the round table. You gotta bring it to the, yeah. Now, now, let I me w- tell you. Something, I want to ask you a question. Okay. Did you do that because you wanted some buns? No. Did you do that no. for the joke, yes. or did you do that because you hate me? Uh, <laughs> but this, 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 is the, the this is the part. That, obviously, for the joke, but this is the part where you're gonna you're gonna kind of laugh, and this is where I'm just stupid. Maybe you won't believe me. When you when you heard my couch and that's the one that really that hit right the couch one if I no. would have said your the mom, mom and the, the mom couch and the couch you just because you just aired out my business to yeah, some that's the other thing that bothered me that you but aired she out didn't my business. matter no 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 I don't care that she didn't matter okay because in my head I'm like yo I can't let my homie like that's the only reason why I'm bringing it up I, want, I was gonna do it in private but it would have got too serious. Dude, I, I verbally threw I, I verbally <laughs> so I did it in front I, of some cameras. I verbally threw a drink in your face. We're even. Nah, bro. That was pure comedy bro, you, what I did. <laughs> that was, whoa, whoa, whoa. You threw a drink, like a real life like drink? A real life like a whiskey drink. Like a, like, drink. A, like a Three Stooges type stupid? Like, it burned like, my eyes. Like, where was y'all at? at? At your house? A birthday party. Yeah, a birthday party at my house. And if it was in front of everybody? Yes, you know what, Phil? You know what? Uh, <laughs> it was in front of everybody. Y'all play different. Bring up, bring up, bring up. Oh, let's do it, let's do it. Let's, do it. let's, do it. let's, do it. let's, let's do it. let Phil and, judge and, us. And, 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 and Dylan, I knew. Was what I, wait, wait. Too rights 
The two wrongs never make a right, but let's, let's bring it to something. Can I bring it to hack court? Run the intro. Hack Run court. the hack court intro. I'm gonna find out is what you did, <laughs> hacky, or and I'm wait a second. I don't have hack court. I mean, we unless you emailed it to me. <laughs> we'll be there after. <laughs> We'll, we'll be back after these messages. <laughs> Give us three minutes to get the answer. Oh, stop. I'll put, a, I'll put an even ad here. Do, do, so do, do, do. All right, that, that was the intro. Um, Phil, I need you to find out. I, we need to know right now. Because oh, before sure. we get into that, Talk I will say, me. Kevin, I'm sorry that I was trying to be funny. I aired out your dirty laundry. That was a uh, boy. I fucked up. Okay. I fucked up. I'll, accept I'll say something that you couldn't say when you threw the drink in my face. Well. Quicker than I... That, that, let me ask you something. When he threw that drinker, did you know it was coming? Like no. Uh, or was you was you over there looking like Chris Rock about to get his ass slapped? Chris Rock. Like you was just like, what up, fam? Yo, Shut he was smith up. me. Yeah. No. You were over there about to go in for the hug. I definitely, and this nigga just I down. <laughs> I about to get off my stupid ass hey, bitch. Dummy. By the way, and I <laughs> wait, wait. He was so drunk. This is his defense still to this day. He goes, I was so drunk. Dylan, you understand. I've only ever seen it in movies, and I never thought that that alcohol could burn your eyes. Right. Wait, say hack court again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, yo. It's over. Would take you a bit, and put it in hack court. You are about to enter the courtroom of doped up and dying. The people are real. The cases are real. Honestly, Their stop it. Merge it. Stop final. it. Stop. Stop the this tape. Stop the tape. Courtroom. Stop the tape. I love this play. <laughs> Stop it. I, I, that was the he most. He had to see it. It had to be real. It was so uninspired. I felt. I, Natalie, thank you so much for playing it. I, you know what? You, she's right. I want. I'm happy you saw that it was real. But I couldn't sit there and watch that intro. God damn it! I couldn't do it. You know what? After so, this, so I think it's because you leveled up too, and you think that intro could be better. I'm so confused on what the fuck y'all just put on the screen. So uh, go ahead, you explain it. Next bit. N next. <laughs> Hey everyone! Yep, you heard that right. It's actually not Dylan, it's Natalie. Yep, that's me back there having a great time watching the episode. You know when I'm not having a good time? Watching these two buffoons try to go through an ad read. So, let me tell you about our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Neven Eyewear. Neven is our favorite new partner because they never need a promo code. Summer is basically here. I'm sure some of you are looking for a pair of sunglasses, but they're either trash or way too expensive, and that's why Neven is here. You get great quality sunglasses and they are always buy one, get two free. That's right, just go to their website, add three pairs to your cart, no code is needed, buy one, get two free. Super affordable and really great quality. I have a pair, I love them. 100% risk-free offer, free shipping and returns, an everlasting guarantee, lost, stolen, broken, even replaces every pair that you purchase and that's neveneyewear.com, N-E-V-E-N, Iwear.com. Yeah, get them. They're great. Back to the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you heard that laugh? You heard that laugh? That's my guy, the great DC We took Williams. a two minute Stop smoke it, break and then we're back with the great DC yes, sir. Williams. Yes, sir. I'm all right. You want to came in with the white law? You see, you're consistently late. Um, no, well, I consistently have to go to work, Dylan, <laughs> like I a also, regular person. I go to work here <laughs> across the street. I'm at work. work. Why are you mad? <laughs> this guy. I'm not mad, but I actually like that. It's one of my favorite things about you. All right. How's your week been, buddy? How you been doing? Oh, week's been good, man. I can't complain. The week's been all right. I got nothing to complain about. Um, I just saw Phil I got at the comedy shop the other day. Um, I, you didn't say nothing? Yeah, I did, but we're talking for a minute. <laughs> we're talking <laughs> for a minute. I know, I mean, Me, you, I and know, Eddie. I'm like, motherfucker, you ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he went straight to the blame. He said, damn, this motherfucker see yeah, me. Yeah, that was like, a nerve see. not to say hello. That was a verbal Bro, Uno. Now Uno I know how to part. get away with not saying hi to somebody when I see you. You yeah. somebody, you ain't say nothing. No, you saw me. He was like, we had a 30 minute combo. You remember they were talking about. How the guy was saying Chappelle was the same height as him, and you were like, no way. Oh, you remember that it? conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. He was wallet. He was wallet. Yeah. He was like, I'm 5'10". Chappelle's 5'10". I'm like, no, he's not, No, he's bro. not. No, yeah. he's not. You, exactly. You and, then, and then I was like, we can easily end this with Google. Because yeah. I don't know why this is going so long. Right. Google said 6'1". Six, 6'1", one. Six, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, so it's always like, that's wrong. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he was like, yeah. he's the same. I'm like, all right, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, he's shorter than me, and he's saying Chappelle's the same height. So, you should have kicked him over. That, <laughs> who was this? Out of his um, name. No, I'm show people the whole. No, 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 he's cool. I'm sure he doesn't care. I forgot it. What's his I name? I forgot his name. He's at the pair <laughs> all the time. He has like the. He looks biracial. Has the real like curl. He's deaf in one ear, but yeah. Who cares? Glasses. Yeah. 
No, I don't think he wears glasses. Real Deaf light skin dude. Ear. Yeah, he said. I remember him doing a bit about be deaf in one ear. Niggas be lying. Niggas <laughs> <lying. laughs> say anything to me. Right? They will. Yeah, they will. They're like, that was my lesson. No, you weren't. <laughs> had a good childhood. <laughs> it's a fact. Though. It's funny. I, I watched a girl at uh, the Grizzly Pair one time go up, and she opened with like a, a nose joke, and it got laughs. Mm-hmm. Bomb for five minutes, and then closed with another nose joke. <laughs> Did it I'm kill? <laughs> it didn't kill, but like they both both of the nose jokes got laughs. She was like, I'm gonna go back to that shit since that's what y'all like. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty much. <laughs> shit lips, are you a comedian? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Why? Two things. For, shit uh, lips uh, yo, and uh, yo, asking uh, yo, if he's a comedian. I forgot. Uh, Phil Duckett. Phil Duckett's coming for the kid right yeah. now. Oh, is oh, he? That was me. You've been vibing all day. We've been vibing all day. We, we, but, like, we found out that Kevin eats dirty butthole. Yeah, like he'll, no. he'll, eat, a, he'll eat ass even if she's not fresh out the shower. Oh. A, a, he's saying this as he's hitting the, the blunt we all smoke. So oh, like, nigga, give me the dope back. Phil, 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 <laughs> Phil. I'm gonna about to blow your mind. Please don't. I'm about to blow your mind, bro. What? I wasn't talking about me eating ass. Uh, I was saying that uh, she ate my ass. After a sloppy shit. After like, just like oh walking God. through the streets. Yo, oh, so you're so dating a shit I was be savages. Yeah, yeah, bro, what? Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, you kissed her, didn't he? He was like, I'm a nasty motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, you Dirty better, Sanchez. Yo, you better dirty than me. Sanchez. <laughs> dirty Sanchez. Hey, bro, he's Dirty Sanchez. Woo! Oh my God! Hate man. to see it, boy. Yo, yo, Girl, hey, girls in Brooklyn need to be stopped. Uh, for, don't nah, disrespect. that was that was a BX chick for sure. Oh yeah, yeah that sounds like yeah. a Puerto Rican even, chick. Even, high bridge. Even high more up. <laughs> even more up. We talking even, about Queens. Queens. We talking about from where you from? Oh, what part? What part was she from? Jamaica Queens. Forest Hills. Uh, Forest Hills. Oh. I'm from, I was born in Jamaica, but Forest Hills. Forest Hills is a lovely neighborhood. Yeah, that's how yeah. I yeah. Yeah. Hey, she got she got grass and a driveway. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get a lot over there. Yeah, that's the kind. I mean, listen. They be bored though, so I can see that. Yep. Yeah, it was it was it was it was three months through the pandemic. You know, okay. three months in on the pandemic during that stint when you damn, where well, you didn't know if he was gonna make it anyway. Why not? <laughs> why not eat a shitty booty? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be my last month anyway, nigga. I got bad like, core morbidities yeah. right now. Jeez, bro, I can't do that, man. I, I overthink shit. Like if she came up after eating my, I'd be like. I can't. I, I would overthink it and not be able to like kiss she her. She ain't looking like her picture, so I felt like I didn't Yo, care. I'm going to be real. My mom yeah. tries to listen to this podcast every week. Yeah. We <laughs> what? <laughs> stop. Hey, bro, we got to stop. I already, know, I already know right now Future Me has a text yeah. from my mom that says, try it again this week. <laughs> try it again. <laughs> and we're, she's been like 15 minutes in and we're talking about eating so, ass already. So I'm going to move it into... I, I know what we're, I want to talk about it. Go ahead, buddy. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that yeah, bad. And that's uh, a, no, that's a problem. We talking about now, why do you, no, no, yeah. no, I, I, no, this is what I'm going to say. Let me let me preface this. I wanted to talk about the herd trial, and there was a. a <laughs> you guys stared far from that. I shit. didn't cut that out. They heard that. <laughs> um, I don't want all that fumbling in there. Are we not supposed to talk about the Amber Heard but trial? Do you see? No, no, you guys because, are. Right. You guys start talking about that. Yo, we was the victims. <laughs> we won, motherfucker. What are you talking about? City talking, boys up. City boys, up. <laughs> boys <laughs> just want to have yeah, fun. Yeah. Oh, boys, boys just, just want to have fun. fun. Oh, yeah. we really want. Boys. <laughs> yo, um, I just, yo. To do coke and wear rings. Girl. Yeah, dude, I don't know, man. I, I'm glad he won. And then he went right after him to go perform. And I was like, that's dope that Let he did that. Let me tell you something. You take a shit in my motherfucking bed, it, nigga. Bro, what are I we don't talking want, about? What sympathy are we talking about? Like, there's I, a level of sanity by the way, we got to handle. Kevin even pointed out something, by the way. Wasn't even a liquidy shit. I, that yeah, was a that fiber was a straight fiber shit. She took a no shit. wiper. Yeah. She took a no wiper. That's easy to clean up. I don't understand. what. Why does it matter? Why are y'all trying to like but differentiate here's the between thing I'm saying, the feces? Oh, I, I like, this is how you know, Johnny, this is a white person situation. And I had this whole conversation with myself because I was trying to make it, but fuck it. Like... An Arab dude, <laughs> black dude, Spanish dude. It, I feel like it, those things it never would have got that far. Because let's be, let, let's be real here, bro. A Dimin- the chick started acting like that. A Dominican dude would probably be like, oh, <laughs> at some point. Arab dude that's, would probably burn her alive. Hey, yo, uh, my man. You should be for real, bro. Hey, yo, be I'm for real. I'm going to stay quiet on that. I'm not going to generalize the, the whole Dominican. Are you that's that what Dominican I'm saying. Dominican men beat their women. Right? No, no, no. no. I'm, not, I'm not saying they beat them. I'm just saying. Do you saying want us to di- cut that out for you? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying Dominicans fight their girlfriends. I've seen it. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying they beat them. Their girlfriends fight them, bro. You know what I'm talking about. I've seen it too many times. DC, yeah, yeah. 
Our girlfriends hit us. We're yeah. Johnny Depp. Bro, I've seen Dominicans are Johnny Depp, bro. I've seen it Dominican go both men, ways, we, bro. Now, we cheat all day, every wait, day. Wait. That's, I'm going to keep and it 100. And that's why your girlfriends wait, wait, attack wait, 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 you. So they attack us. Wait. But we, do, we don't do no slapping back. Yeah, nah. Yeah, y'all do. Take, y'all do a couple slaps. No, I watch Stella nah. Novellas, bro. Yo, that's Stella Novellas. Me on board. DC didn't get the memo on the angle of this That's bit. Spaniard and Puerto Ricans, bro. That's what I'm saying. Not bro. Dominicans. <laughs> bro, he also didn't Dominican. get the memo that those are fiction. About what? About Tell what? Actually, oh, yeah, hey, yeah, yo, yeah, chill. That's your real life, <laughs> Natty Ice. You don't know about that. That's a documentary. That's, that Latin love be hot. That's all I'm saying, No, bro. listen. I'm just going to say this. I'm going to say this. Uh, I fo- I just follow- say your fuck. Is- I follow all my exes on Instagram. <laughs> As we all do. No. Shout out, <laughs> shout out the game. I'll go right now. One of them I, are definitely blocked on my Instagram, bro. I, okay. I don't, I don't, okay, I follow everyone but one. <laughs> I've only had two exes, bro. Well, what are you talking, you're talking about his wait, wait. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, well, you follow my exes? That's a lot of exes for, for Dylan. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but I want to say this. All my exes... Live in Texas. Oh, I, was going with that too. I was going with that too. We're hacks. Uh, bring hack card again. <laughs> All my exes are on Amber Heard's side, and I'm starting to question my penis's decision making. Oh, no, no. And I know which ones are probably on their side too. All of them? <laughs> no, but here's the thing, man. This is what I, uh, I just, I think it's weird. Like, I'm glad Johnny Depp won. But it's funny because we just, not even two, three years ago, you know, we had the feminist movement. Everybody's wearing mm-hmm. the Can you bring pink up Amber Heard's Instagram post? Right. Yeah, everybody's wearing the little pink nipple hats and yeah. the women power. <laughs> And the way I'm listening to women just tear this bitch down is mind blowing. Yeah. I said, now, y'all can't tear down your own gang like this. I know Whoa. the bitch is crazy, but some of you hoes is crazy. They should. And so, and the way people, that, it's kind of crazy how women are like teaming up on her, like, fuck you, no, you no, stupid, no, crazy no, no. bitch. That's and I'm fear, like, y'all, wild, bro. That's fear, yeah, though. You don't have to agree, but like, it's just, it's kind of well, fun to watch. Like, y'all was all one big. Right. And now, no, but like, listen, but Phil, all, that's, not, that's, not a, so, but that's not about feminism. You can't just be like, all people are this, all Jewish people are this, all black people are like, all feminists, all de- uh, Democrats, all Republicans. Everyone, when you break it down, like, let's just go literally to justice. Are you it, qualified it, to talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> it was a defamation. I'm, t- I'm Jewish. The lawyer inside of me can. <laughs> this was a defamation trial, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Amber Heard, that has nothing to do with she was caught lying mm-hmm. she was that's it yeah. it was a defamation trial you went to tmz you told them something more than lying that, physical abuse too. no no, no. You, I'm saying, yeah. you let's, let's break it down you went to tmz you told them something johnny depp said that's not true i'm suing you and now in court you had the chance to say no i'm not lying and then she just held how would she do lie? that she, but but she, but that's she, what I'm tra- she tried but she no 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 but i'm a sociopath i would never do that i don't admit it i dig a bigger hole than no I she lying. did but that's why she accepted the trial going i'm gonna win yeah and yeah, that's yeah. why again i think it's just weird where okay i'll say this I'll, closing right. thoughts closing thoughts <laughs> guys can take an l and it wouldn't be this big of a thing women take one l do you have amber heard's post do you have amber heard's post yeah, yeah. this is a uh 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 the disappointment ah. I feel today is beyond words. Ah. I'm heartbroken and the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up what? to the dis- disproportionate power. Thank you. Thank you. Good yeah. shit for him. <laughs> yeah, DC? Like, Hell yeah, dude. Disproportionate power. You finish. Influence and sway of my ex-husband. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for every woman, for other women. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. It sets back the idea that violence against women is to be taken seriously. I believe Johnny's attorney succeeded in getting the jury to overlook the key issue of freedom of speech and ignore evidence that was so conclusive that we won in the UK. I'm sad I lost this case, but I'm sadder still that I seem to have lost a right I thought I had as an American to speak freely and openly and shit on beds. You watch South Park? You watch South Park? You watch South Park? Yo. She literally did the... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hey, thought this was America. Hey, I, I saw. This was America. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I saw. Sorry. I thought this was America. I saw a like from one of your exes. On ah, I didn't want to say that. I want to go say nothing. That's where this started. Oh, I, I saw that. I was like, oh, unbelievable, you know what's crazy? dude. I feel like the girls defending her are girls who like they thought like they saw Amber Heard and they saw a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you know what bro. I mean? They yes. saw Amber Heard and they were like, oh, that's me. Oh, people are gonna defend her, and then they looked at everyone that hating her, actually, and they go, and they go, and they go, oh shit, everyone hates how I act because I act yeah. just like yeah, that. Yeah, and, and, and it's and funny, Kevin says something hard. He goes, bro, they're getting defensive. Of That's course, when you, when you look in the mirror and you see yourself, you're gonna get defensive. And I want to say this: we're a round table of boys right now. We don't we have a girl on this panel, but we do have a girl producer who I can see at some points is laughing, at some points is rinsing and making faces at what we say. And I want to say this, Natalie, I want you to. 
I want you to say your points and maybe uh, uh, say if we're fucked up somewhere, if we're being assholes. You brought up that you don't even want to... You didn't You didn't think we should even talk I about this. I think it's hack to make jokes about it at this point. Oh, I'm not making jokes. Uh, I'm not I, see, I, I started I with jokes. jokes. And I'm, Natalie, I'm ignorant. So, <laughs> so am I. That's the problem, is that, like, oh, I'm not. definitely not qualified to talk about this. I watched the whole but trial. I have done... Zero research? Eight, Shows a week oh. about and it's all the about news. This. Ah, I get yeah. you. I get you. I, get I you. have many uncomfortable opinions about many aspects of this. I just think that this bit is not going to age well, and I think you're going to watch this episode back and be like, "Maybe I shouldn't have gone." Yo, that's crazy. So hard about Natalie. Amber heard I watch bitch. these episodes. DC said that. <laughs> right, I'm gonna clip it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll clip that that first part about your exes. And oh yeah, please. Put that on the story. <laughs> yeah. No, no. no I, listen, I already, I already got it because I, I made tweets. I'll read my tweets. Hold on, hold on. I already. Yeah. Natalie, you don't understand but something. I, I'm gonna say this I already too. got, in, I already got yelled so, at by an ex because I, I made tweets. Yelled. And uh, this is the thing. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, black, white, whatever. It, I'll say this, and this is what I said in the text. I go, if you're anyone that goes, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on this side. I can't, st- I can't hang out with you because you're on that side. I'm not like that. That's funny business. I made two, I made two tweets this morning. Uh, all my exes are on Amber Heard's side. I'm starting to question my penis's decision making. Second one, Amber Heard referring to Johnny Depp as the new O.J. Simpson. That means Amber Heard is the new Nicole Brown Simpson, a cheater and a liar. <laughs> that was actually a good joke. That was a good joke. What I was gonna say was, why is everybody so scared for Amber Heard to be wrong and guilty? But that, Natalie, that's what I'm trying to say. You're like, like this, why, this why is gonna is come bite me in the ass? For her to be guilty. I'm saying is I there was two abused, All right, two yes. abused, two abusers. You didn't say that. You're, that's the first time you're saying this in this whole episode. That's this what I'm saying. Two abused, two abusers. What I'm what I'm gonna say in the beginning is that. there's a defamation case. Take the uh, take the uh, uh, toxic relationship out of it. Has, and who in here has been in a toxic relationship? Oh, my relationship is toxic. That's yeah, how really? I want them. It's exactly how I want mine. I don't. What I what I don't get is oh, everyone's wrong. They're both wrong. No, <laughs> she lied though. No, no, no. no, no. You, One you person think, is wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold wait, on. you don't think wait. that. You don't think Johnny Depp had some wrongdoings in that relationship? Yeah, he that did. That motherfucker's crazy. Yeah, he did too much coke and gave his daughter marijuana. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm sure he's more guilty of more than that, my brother. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm just being honest. He's Johnny of, Depp, of nigga. what? If I'm Jack Sparrow, nigga, uh-huh. I got bitches all through this house. <laughs> right, of course. That's what I'm saying. Johnny Depp doesn't even look like he can hit a man. I, okay, I, I know where you were going. <laughs> exactly. Johnny, okay. does Johnny Depp look like someone... Johnny Depp look like if he tried to hit a man, he'd go... Yo, I, I don't want to. I don't. I'm, be, I'm, I'm not going to. What is that? Oh, I've heard my wrist. I'm not going to say who said it, but someone, uh, 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 somebody sent me a DM after that tweet that I tweeted, and goes, <laughs> "With all the rings that Johnny Depp wears, you think Amber Heard would have more bruises?" Oh. That's, that's a good point. Don't even try that. That's not a good point. That's a, yeah, that that's was, a great point. You know, bro. every time I come to Gas Digital, y'all do y'all's best to get me cash. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta watch what the fuck. Y'all I gotta say. believe someone who goes and then my dog stepped on a beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Who does that with their face in court? And my dog stepped on a beat. <laughs> like, Listen, that, that makes no sense. At the end bro. of the day, at the end of the day, I think you're allowed to look at any case. And and say your actual genuine this? thoughts. On How about it. this? If Johnny, if it was Johnny Depp that was f- genuinely found guilty, and all these things turned out to be true, would there be anybody saying they're both guilty? Or would they say no? Men are pieces of shit. Look at this. Amber Heard did nothing wrong. That's not what it is. People are uncomfortable. This is a, this point. a solid People point. Are solid point. Solid point. She has a child. She has a baby with Elon Musk. She has a b- child with Elon Musk. Whoa, right? whoa, whoa! Amber right? Heard is Elon Amber, Musk's Amber wife. Heard has, nah, has nah, a not wife. But he has a baby. Wait, you sure? He has a positive she has a baby with elon musk elon musk upon the birth of this baby waived the rights to be that child's parents that's how much he did not want to deal with this young lady oh so that's why she ain't getting none of that that's why she's not getting she's not getting any support from him because he's waived over the rights to be that child's parents completely she fumbled the bag she fumbled the bag she didn't believe in tesla she she didn't believe no she did he doesn't believe in her bro (laughs) that's what i'm trying to say she went from franco to this guy to that he doesn't believe in amber and her whatever she had to do to stay relevant in Hollywood, she did cool. You, what I'm you, you sound like you know a lot about this. I but do. Also, but at the same a, time, nothing. Bro. But at the same time, it's nothing. I, I know. I, but I watched. All, I watched as much of the trials as I can. This shit was the best shit ever to me. Wait, wait, I me, missed the OJ trial. I was Listen, a, I, that, thank you so much. <laughs> I was gonna say is this is again the first time in history. So 
When was the OJ trial? What year was 94. that? 94. Were you alive I was for that? one. Yeah. How old were you for that? I was six. I was Do you remember, old. like, people, like, in, like, a, like, like in your household, like, being, being happy that OJ? Like, what was, like, the, what was, like, the feeling? I was six. I really didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I know he, he hurt his wife. That's what I remember. He hurt his wife. He hurt his wife. Is it understatement, That's what my mom bro. was saying. He hurt his and wife. Then, no, no, but, the, like, but. And he's been running. Put it to, well, here's what I'm saying. Real but, I'm going to say this. When OJ, when OJ won, like, that's a, that's a weird thing to celebrate. Johnny Depp, like they're treating that similar. It's where not the same it, thing. I, 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 you're you're arguing what I'm I, what I'm saying. I'm yeah. saying that's how they're saying I'm it. Like, no, 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 they're not. No, no, I'm, I'm arguing for you. Yeah. I know. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> One Jesus white Christ. lady was butchered. <laughs> that's what I. But that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this isn't this isn't that. It's this not. is this is a, a, a. My parents got divorced. Took it to court. Fought. My parents fought eight years in court over a divorce. Divorce. This was five months and they're they're millionaires they're, she went to tmz and lied it's a defamation case this isn't like this wasn't a case of she went to the police and they found bruises on her she went to tmz and leaked it what's your point bro everyone's acting like she didn't lie if that makes sense okay. like everyone that's like it, it is a weird thing that if she you if you're on the side of amber lie, if you're dude. on the side of johnny depp Right now, girls can call you an asshole, right? No, Some girls. No, you can't. You can call me whatever the fuck you want. OJ's guilty. I'm not over here like, don't believe what OJ murdered his wife, bro. R. Kelly is guilty. I think no, this, cat, I think this that's category that's is me. getting away no, from no, 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 That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, though. All that is that I believe that. That's yeah, not sure. what I'm saying. I'm, people you not, don't know how to isolate situations. This is a different situation. This is a sociopath. But this is someone who said, give me control of your meds so I can administer to them. But when you're going through withdrawals, it just is saying you got to watch the information. Phil, do you not feel like the general? Hold on, when you're twitching on the floor, rolling around, experiencing pains, and the person who's supposed to admit administer your medication, your girlfriend, is not giving it to you on can purpose. I, can I say what I think? Can I say? This he might know more than we think. No, he knows more I'm about the trial. The trial but bro. to me, does this not sound like some dumb sub shit? That no, of, that, listen to me, bro. Don't fucking know me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. No, it don't sound like some dumb dumb sub relationship. A little no, bit. It like, sounds like a, there was a. Uh, it sounds like a woman. He gave her the meds. Was we, huh? He gave her the meds, right? She 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 took control of his meds. Like his doctor was like, "Hey, you can administer his meds." I'm sure he entrusted her probably to let her do that. But I'm not, at some I'm not point, gonna, DC, I don't want to argue the facts of the trial, dude. But that, DC, that, listen, stop, 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 stop. Those are the facts. Stop, stop. 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 Shush a black man right Stop. now. Yeah, really mad, <laughs> Stop. Yeah. They just mad racist, bro. No, I'm not trying to talk about the facts of the trial. I honestly could care less nah, about if, if, about if they, would, they wouldn't do that. What I'm trying to say is the general public, you're not understanding. I don't give a fuck about who won, what, whatever. I'm saying is then what are we talking it, it, about? It came out, the evidence came out that she was in the in the wrong, right? That she but cut now, his finger off, didn't give him his meds. Now with the general public, with the general public, what I started with the ex's joke, now again, the general public. Same thing with the OJ trial. If you're for Johnny Depp, they're treating it similar, where it's like, oh wow, like there's people the out OJ there. The OJ trial was race baited, so black people celebrated when he got off because a black dude finally got off in That's, public court. Okay, and this something. and this is gender baited. This, and, and the, now they're but trying, it, but that ain't the same. It ain't no. the same it's not thing, the same, bro. But do, you, but do you understand how they're women trying are to trying run that play? I, I, get, I get the comparison. Yeah, but they're trying to run that play. Women who say, oh, she's guilty. That's a woman who could look at a situation is different, but it's not. A, it's like most situations, women tend to be more or less right about some abuse coming from a man. You can't. You you can't look at one situation and admit, okay, in this situation, she's definitely guilty and he's not guilty. Doesn't matter if you want to say, I heard those fucking tapes. She's a maniac, bro. It's I don't know why. If Talk, no I'm one, trying to talk about the public perception, dude. I please. know the public perception, but most of the people are on Johnny Depp's side. I, I agree with that. But I'm like, Phil, like, do you feel like right now if you went to if you went to do do a show and you were like, did a joke about supporting Johnny Depp, you maybe have like clap, or whatever. There's gonna be three girls, three people in that show who are like. You're a fucking asshole, and they're morons. Like I mean, you're like, I like in yeah, the same. I don't know, Dylan. I'm pretty funny, so. No, <laughs> no, 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 I can make it work. Yeah. I can make I, it work. I, they, they tend to, even if they don't agree with it, they're like, yeah. oh, that's pretty. That's fucking pretty good. Funny. But uh, yeah, I mean, you're, here's the thing: if you ain't offended somebody when you on stage, you ain't doing it right. That's just that's how true. I feel. And, and not even trying to do it on purpose. Right, it's but just, you, you, just there's yeah. no way if you speak in your true mind that, you, that yeah. everybody's going to agree with what you have to say. And, and that's, that's just part of life. Yeah. But I just right. want people to stop being scared for a situation to be different, bro. If this situation, she might be guilty. There might be a there's a 500 situations where dudes are guilty. There's this one the situation one. where this they're the not. One. It's just one. I'm not saying women are always lying. I'm saying this chick 
is specifically a liar, like most women in LA. That's all I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm, saying bro. So like, I'm cutting all this out. I'm I'm out. I'm right, I was like, you know what? This podcast, like y'all really, y'all really pushed the envelope. Oh, that's <laughs> all, thank you, finally, bro. It's that's just, it's just funny. They're like, yo, like a certain podcast in mind. I'm like, yo, I, I know. Yo, it, uh, my how much is, editing bro. do y'all do on this? No, 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 no not, not a usually ton. None. Not a ton. No, no, because no. no, no. no, no. I feel like the things that between DC and Dylan, like there's gonna be like 20 minutes. <laughs> of this, it's just ridiculous. If, if, but if, if people want to watch that and disagree with it or put it on Reddit and whatever, do whatever you gotta do to blow the podcast up. What I'm saying is. <laughs> And what I'm saying is it's okay to be like, oh, I think Amber Heard is guilty. Because just like OJ just, Simpson just getting off the trial. It's okay to say, I think she's innocent. It, uh, it's okay to think things. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's okay to think. What I'm saying is it's fine to be a woman and disagree with Amber Heard's situation, even though you're a feminist mostly. Feminism, in my opinion, being pro even I, I'm for black people, but if a black person is wrong, they're wrong. Bro. Never. Black people can't be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't know that's, 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 from that's, that's the mentality that feminists <laughs> have. Right, can't and on, be wrong. And on that not. note, let's just get into plugs. I mean, let's move on this fucking topic. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Doped Up and Dying, the Sunday morning smoke show. Plug music? Cool. Guys, DC Williams. Start with me. Uh, I mean, with everything that was said, I want them to come after you first. All right, so, cool, cool. Uh, my name is uh, DC Williams. Follow me online at DC Does It on Instagram. DC D U Z Z I T T because the single T was taken. Um, every second and uh, last Friday of the month, Mungo and Oxtail Comedy Show. My co-producer Kevin Sanchez. Do, do, do. Um, and you could also um, follow me on TikTok at Amber Heard Did It. <laughs> is that your real TikTok now? That'd be really good. I'm about to change my shit, bro. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Phil Duckett. Man, y'all know who it is. The real deal, Phil. The three of us. Oh, you are. Yes, you seen that right there. Y'all like how I did that right there, man. Uh, nah, you can catch me on all the socials at Funny Phil Duck. Uh, funny. P H I L D U C K, funny Phil Duck, like quack quack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Big Duck in the video. Is everybody, I'm sure every, the, the name everybody's uncle is taken on Instagram, but I feel that'd be a great name for you. Uncle Phil? Instagram. Like, no, uncle, everybody uncle, uncle Phil. No, Ooh. that's what I'm saying. I could never do that. I mean, so many, yeah, but. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't put that together. Yeah, nah, funny Phil. You got, you got good unk energy. Yeah, good you, uncle man, energy. You know, I'm getting older, baby. Like, I'll be 34 and all. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm getting up there like I'm the uncle at the cookout be drunk as hell talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, come here, nephew. Your yeah, girlfriend kind of hey, cute. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, we ain't, I ain't that old yet. If I say that, that I need to be locked the fuck up. <laughs> the bitch is 11. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Sanchez. <laughs> it's Kev Sanchez on all socials, Instagram, Twitter. Yes, sir. That's all I have. And mother and TikTok. And, uh <laughs> Mongul and Octel every sir. second and last Friday of the month on yes, 104 sir. 5th. Yes, sir. Double You know what time it is. You said you eat oxtails every fourth? <laughs> <laughs> Mongul and Oxtail every comedy show. Oh, I was like, word? Nah, bro. You got a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> it, don't, it don't sit right. I was so about to say, okay, it's coming together. Natty Ice. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Natalie DiCicco edits on Instagram. Yes, sir. Uh, follow this account. Doped up comedy on Instagram. Why did you sound so unsure about that? Because I forgot what the what the handle is. Guys, go DM Natalie that women can be wrong to. I, I I just just I, I'll, I'll just DM doped up because she's the one that gets it too. Just DM doped up women can be wrong too. <laughs> Guys, I love women, but they and can be wrong. And most of the times too. they're right, but sometimes they're wrong. No, are you gonna start a new, let me are, fucking are we give any opinions on it. <laughs> Oh, you got to come back and you let Nat give her a No. <laughs> uh, no, we're done with that topic. Yo, Guys. are you going to start a new hashtag called Wrong2? Wrong. <laughs> hey, let's go. Hashtag Wrong2. Cut the music. Her, is it her, though, just last day? Isn't that extreme version of women not being able to admit when they're wrong? Who heard? Yeah, Amber Heard trial. It's like the extreme version of it. The most extreme version of not being able to admit when you're wrong. Thought you guys would have came with me on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Phil left me. <laughs> Dylan kind of left me. I was like, I wonder where he's going. <laughs> I was just thinking about how I almost never get to do my plugs every week. Uh, oh, did you not? You told me to cut it. You didn't do your it. ad. Yeah. I was just waiting. No, my friends never. My friends never lined me up. You know. So sometimes I was sometimes Dwayne Wade likes an alley oop. What? Does it? <sighs> Phil? Dylan I left the music up for you. I can bring it back. 
This is this is an Damn, interesting from, episode. This yeah. is like a. I paid Natalie before this episode. this episode. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> I paid her just like like this is what happens when you like preempt like try clearly to you nice didn't pay thing. her enough. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay her more, bro. No, I, I, I think it's the opposite. That. It was a five. Somehow, <laughs> somehow we got better work, but she was a free <laughs> when she was free. Uh, wow. Guys, go follow me at Dylan J Negri. Uh, go to my website dylancomedy.com and um, go support Dope the Podcast on everywhere. Uh, road shows coming soon, so guys, stay tuned. That's it. I'm trying to think of one more thing. Amber Heard is guilty. We're underpaying Natalie. This is the bad look. <laughs> can, I, can I bring the, the tone up a little bit? Hell sure. Um, yeah. You should tune in for the next gas games because I said I wouldn't be on unless Dylan comes back. Okay. I'm oh. your friend, man. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be really weird when Natalie finds out she's one. not gonna be on gas games for another year. Cause I'm I, I uh, Paco told me when that gas games are and I'm not showing up. I, I I'm I'm putting Paco on a one month uh ban. You know what? Put Paco's name no, I'm joking. Pa- Paco's uh, a one month ban from here. Phil, why do you have candy? Nigga, cause I got cotton mouth. We were smoking. Shit, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. Nigga, nah, you gonna get hot blood pressure? Gonna, yeah, I do want one, but you got, they, one, they got whiskey and gummy bears. I'm trying to do a diet. <laughs> this nigga want the glucose to hit his I'm blood. I'm trying to. Good, good looks, bro. I'm trying to diet, bro. I can't be. Nigga, I, you weigh 36 pounds. Candy, nah, you candy, now you gotta work out, bro. Candy made me fat, bro. I got a belly. I remember you were getting fat at one point. Oh wow, you never said that shit out loud, bro. I remember that shit. I remember. I remember. It's always like relationships, and then I was eating candy. Relationships do make candy, you gain a little bit of weight. A lot of candy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that love weight. Man. Yeah, that's she started girl. telling you beautiful. I mean, you stop going. It to was the just gym. weight. Mm-hmm. 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 If she's toxic, though, you lose weight. I've right. never been with a All toxic right. chick, bro. I'll stop. Huh? I've never really been with a toxic. It's because you you're toxic, Kevin. <laughs> yo, you right, yo. You right. You right. You right. I'm toxicity, bro. You right, bro. Toxicity. I, I come good. with. I come with the skull warning, bro. Like yeah, I, that type of shit. Hazard. Damn. It's like a ja- it's like a jackass intro every time Kev gets into the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Warning: You will not have find love, right? Every time he's on a date. Affection. Mm-hmm. Yo, what's comedy like in Atlanta, bro? I just wanna, cause I tried. I don't. I don't know. Did you start out there? Or you started. I started in Atlanta, but. That was <clears throat> t- 2010. That, like, oh, that's a while ago. I was, yeah, and I wasn't there for maybe more than like a year, year and a half. Like my first five years of comedy, I was like a road open micer. Word. So I was, I started in Atlanta, mm-hmm. but I went to grad school at Miami University in, in Ohio. Oh, you Miami, just Ohio. And fuck chicks. Oh my God, Miami <laughs> University. That's People don't hear. realize that that's it cool. is the craziest school you've yeah, ever been. I, it's in the middle of nowhere, and it's the finest, richest women. Just yes. plopped in the middle of nowhere in Ohio. Yeah. And, oh, it was a good time. But then I would go to Cincinnati and then go to Go Bananas and do the mic at Go Bananas. So, you know what I mean? But, no, Atlanta scene is still great. Like, I still go back now and do shows in Atlanta. I think I'm supposed to be there next month. Word. When I was there, I'd be friends. looking up, like, places to perform, but it's it's mad spread out. Like, it's everything I, spread out. Yeah, cars, obvious. So I mean, yeah. it's an obvious thing to say, but it's just, like, it's hard to, like, damn, if I, I want to go here and go here, oh, that's 20 miles? Well, like, if you the, got a car, I mean, 20 miles ain't shit, but yeah, 15 15 minutes. Minutes. I live in Covington, yeah, Georgia. <laughs> oh, Covington, you was out 40, Yeah, bro, I'm 45 yeah, minutes I, outside of Atlanta. So, when I lived there, I lived in Northside, you know, Migo, that way. Yeah, is that is that is that Gwinnett County? Gwinnett, okay, yeah, I was gonna so, say Fulton County, but yeah, no, no, no. Gwinnett. And so, um, and then like, so my sister still lives in Gwinnett County, yeah. And yeah. so, when I go, I'll stay with her, and then I got people who stay downtown. So, I, I've yeah. you know, I've got it figured out now, but no, it's like it is downtown. a good city. They have really good shows in the yeah, you know, but it ain't nothing like New York City, man. You I know, do the best I know, it's hard to get good anywhere else, you know, yeah. So, yeah, Phil, I was gonna say, uh, I, you've been doing comedy how many years? Uh, June will be right. going on 11, 11 yeah, 11, 11 years. I feel like, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like the past, I want to say, let's say past six, seven, eight months, I feel like you got a different level of respect. Oh, bro, it's crazy you said that, because I didn't know if niggas were starting to notice that shit. Yeah, I'm boy! You, I, I be feeling like the man when I walk through. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I be out there, bro. I be in that Bitch, I'm the I'm a, man. I'm a big stepper, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to come in there talking little shit. You know, and it's crazy, but, not, but you know, like I said, I... I don't really talk. I talk a lot of shit, but I don't talk shit like that. Like I yeah. felt the energy has changed. It's fun to talk. Like just when I walk. No, I talk shit when yeah. I need. Trust me, I'm, of the, course, I'm the loudest yeah. motherfucker you'll know. But but I no, but I've, I've never seen you talk shit just for the sake of talking shit. Right? No, I'm always. The you have good. I, honestly, you got really good. You energy. gotta be careful. Pre- that's yeah. what I think. Some comedians nah, nah. don't like to talk shit. And well, it's no, like but boring. that's when I moved, when I came into New York. That's what kind of. Not took me so long because I did move fast. I've only lived. Uh, August will be six years. I lived in New York. Okay. So you know, but I. I was always funny, but motherfuckers weren't giving me no time. Like even when I first moved here, and I was hanging out at New York Comedy Club, which is like my home club now. You know, they. Mm-hmm. That's if you want to check me out, you come to New York Comedy Club yeah, midnight yeah, or week. Shit, that's man. where I'm at. Mm-hmm. But 
for when I first got there, they wouldn't give me an audition for shit. They oh, wouldn't. Yeah. They, they didn't like me, so I became a bar back. I was mopping the floors, doing the popcorn. I remember just you cause, coming through. Just because that's at the time there was a loophole. If you worked there, you could do late night. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't. And they weren't gonna put me on stage. They already made that very clear. So I was like, Fuck I started it. working I there. Out. There was like, ain't no late night. Bro. Exactly. And that's <laughs> how I but DC but it, was out of there the next. But day. it was crazy. They don't. It was. It was like it was such a weird thing that like. I just, and they said the reason they didn't fuck with me, they were like, Phil, you were the most arrogant motherfucker we had ever met. And I remember when I right. walked in there, I was talking shit. Cause yeah, yeah. to this day, they were like, Phil, the first time we put you up on stage mm -hmm. after like, it took like four or five months before they even, they put me up cause they wanted me to bomb. They wouldn't put, and I was talking yeah, so yeah. much shit. Cause I remember one day, I don't know if it was Amy, the booker, or one of the managers, they're like, Phil, are you even funny? I was like, I'm probably the funniest nigga in here. Yeah, let's go, and they, Phil. Literally, they was like, what? I was what? like, I was Yo, like, Phil, I've you seen know all these motherfuckers. Phil, you know what? Because the, there's so many comedians who come up and they want to talk shit about themselves. <laughs> oh, self-deprecating, <laughs> self-deprecating. Yeah, self that's self not our culture. Yeah, yeah and I'm like, nigga, talk like that, that shit if you that shit. That's what I'm, and that's yeah. how you but grew up in talk that shit. How you grew up in hip hop culture? And like not want to talk that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. How's that I possible? Feel like that's what that's what they misunderstand comics like that because you're saying that, but you're not saying it like, yeah, you you guys suck and it's so. But I'm the best. You're just you're talking. Yeah, I'm, shit. Ta I'm talking I'm probably, myself up. Yeah, I'm probably, like shit. I need to say this. Why Phil, you want to perform? Yeah, I mean, I'm all right. I could, I could do a little something. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, like, nah, nah, bro. I'd be like, nigga, hold my beer. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Saw, I saw. Um, who's the dude that does Mexican gut on boots? Whoa, that was a mouthful. What? Mexican, Mexican God on Boots. He does a story. I don't Mexican know, I don't know God, God on Boots? Sounds yeah, like a meme yeah, page. Yeah. 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 Ali like Sadiq. Yeah. Sounds like a dude. Ali Sadiq. 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 No scope. Ali Sadiq. Yeah. Yeah. Call of Duty. Ali, Ali Sadiq got a new special out. Sadiq, yeah. And he was on um, Ari Safir. Guy who was in prison yeah, yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he... Yo, honestly, I haven't seen someone promote their special like he did in years, bro. He went on there and at the end he goes, yeah, this is, this is going to be a classic. And I haven't heard a comic, every comic to promote this special. You yeah, can't, you can't, if you, you can't want to listen that. to it, if you, you want to listen to it, go ahead and then, you, you, you know, can't try to listen. If Patrice O'Neal was alive, you couldn't say that. Yeah, 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 dude. Don't say that. Dude, he was like, this is going to be a classic. <laughs> Yo, your white voice is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are, bro. Did you like, hear your white voice talk? again? What is everybody worried about? Yeah. If Patrice O'Neal was alive, you couldn't say that. You couldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be around if Patrice was around. Like, yeah, yeah. Shut up, man. Uh, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I was like, I'm just going to be great regardless I like that. Yeah, around. Because you know, that's just how the universe And in comedy, wanted, there's enough you know? people that's going to hate on you. Comics and people. Why hate on yourself, bro? Yeah, you got enough people telling you're not going to make you it every day. Exactly. And I get it. And just, I mean, just because you have could you, never do that, don't tell me what the fuck Phil, I do. Phil, do you, do you know any, like, uh, in your, gen like, in your, I'm sure in your comic circle, do you know any, like, uh, Patrice heads? We like to call them, Oh, like, every, I mean, heads? every comedian I know, so like, loves Patrice heads. No, but there's a difference between loving Patrice and taking, there's, like, uh, one step too far, you know? It's like when, um, it's like loving the Joker and then being like, I want to be the Joker. It's like, yeah. I, I think I you, feel I more think like you that the point. with Louis C.K. because I think he's funny, but I'm not, how pe other people feel about him is not how I feel about him. Yeah, I and I feel like you kind of feel what I'm saying. <laughs> are we doing? Are, are, are we doing? Are we doing? I don't think Patrice O'Neal is overrated. I'm saying, are we doing overrated comedians? No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm call never gonna overrated. call nobody yeah, overrated because yeah, yeah, you overrated, you yeah. done more than I've ever done. So ever. Who the fuck would I be yeah, and be yeah, like you yeah. overrated when I ain't got a rating? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I look like yeah. I might even rank right, right. Yeah, 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 bro. It's like, oh, you ain't from outside the club. You can't even get in. Can't even get five minutes. Let go. Yeah. So I would never say any dumb shit like that. Yeah, yeah. But I just. I don't know. Like I said, maybe it's the somewhat arrogance, I guess, to people. But people ask me, I was like, who's your favorite comedian? I'm like, me? after me. Yeah. I, and I said, every, I'm like, after, I said, real shit. I said, I have a lot of comedians. Like, I enjoy watching. Like, Greer Barnes is like, I forget I'm a comedian when I watch Greer. Mm -hmm. Like, and I got, like, sometimes like, again, yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. I'm like, damn, how you get this? You know what I mean? Yeah. But a lot of times I watch comedians and I don't care where I'm at. I'm like, I mean, this shit, I, I mean, they like it. But yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, well, I'm about yeah, to yeah. go rip the roof yeah, off this yeah. motherfucker. I'll tell you, when I, when I knew Phil was different, was uh, we, uh, we were hosting a late night at, uh, I was hosting a late night at Grizzly Pear. And it was just a, that was a, that was the night that girl did the nose joke. And mm -hmm. it was just a weird crowd. And I'm not going to lie, it was like one of those nights where I was just, if comics asked me, like, if Phil was like, yo, how's the crowd? I'm like, yeah, right, they're a little weird. Phil never asked that. He was like, when, when the fuck am I up? Went up last and just talked shit for 10 minutes and had everyone from the beginning to the room to the back just dying, and I was like, and "That's the second story I, I heard that from, uh, from." I heard that from Eddie as well about you, about the crowd was being mad weird. 
There's a couple comments. He's like, man, this crowd ain't it, man. This crowd is. Eddie was saying that, and he was like, this nigga Phil went up there and fucking ripped. I take, yeah. I take pride. I take pride in that because of course I love that. You know, because I remember I, 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 niggas be like, yo, the crowd is yeah. sleepy. I'm like, you're the first comic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck do you mean? Oh, you set the tone. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they're like, there must be. A little, and so I remember I was at I Caroline's that, one time. And this motherfucking trash ass nigga was up there doing. Uh, 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 All right, he's awful to me. I just can't stand his ass. Are, as, is, is he unranked or is he ranked? Highly unranked. <laughs> wow. I don't even know if he's, he's on the same. He ain't in the same AAU circuit as me. I tell you that. <laughs> he's not Pac-10 out here. Nah, him. nah, nah. But I remember he was like, "Yeah, the crowd's real tired." And so I was like, "Oh." And so you. I go up there and I go up there. You know, I do my thing. And he was standing right there. And I, as soon as I went, I was like, they must have found what? some Red Bull or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They seem fine to me. But <laughs> Phil Duckett, he gives you wings. <laughs> Phil Duckett, fine. he gives you wings. Maybe his first special not being but, no! <laughs> but that's crazy. It'd be like that, man. I don't, I don't understand the... The hate of a confident comic or oh, like, because com comics are uh, uh, overall comics are losers. Can we, and honestly, he, and, and even the good ones who are like big now, no, most of them started off as losers. But, but also, so, people you gotta understand like there's people that if they don't like themselves and they see that yeah, you and, like yourself, that's mm -hmm. like yeah, that's something weird to them. That's yeah, normal. and then like yeah, yeah. as a some it's just got no comics are weird, man. Yeah. So a lot of them like they just now started getting hoes and started being yeah, popular yeah. because they're becoming good comedians. Yeah, I was. You know, I played college basketball. I've always been yeah, like, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So I I've never had a you problem. You played college ball? Yeah, Grambling State University. What up, D1? What? D1, you know. D1? Play. You got highlights, Come bro. On, man. Wait, D1? D1. So you think, a, wait, you think you think you can beat me one-on-one? -on -one? I, I don't know, Dylan. I smoke Newports. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I He's graduated college uncle. in 2010. He's nigga. such an uncle. Know. It was 2010 when and I could play college. You know what's going to be crazy? He's going to go on the court. All right, Dylan. Newports and kill me. Yeah, he's going to be like, yo, Dylan, let's put 150. I smoke Newports. I keep the cigarette in the whole <laughs> I've seen niggas play basketball, pl smoke Newports in between games in a pickup game, and still be good, bro. I don't know, understand that. Yo, shit. Phil looks like he has a hook shot that goes in from half court. Nigga, so I, if I, you can I, go, I, young blood. Nigga, probably. I, I played in 2008. I didn't play in 1953. Then I go, we, <laughs> this nigga's Skyler. How old do you think I am? I'm like, nigga, you know we had sleeves too. It wasn't that long ago, nigga. Kobe, combo, yeah. Kobe was still playing, nigga. Like, what are you talking we about? We had sleeves. <laughs> hey, man, I just, I just, I just stop watching Winning Time. Yeah, well, but no, uh, I just watch. That's really good. I'm a dumbo. But that is, it is a weird thing, though, and I think it's the difference between, I think it's like kind of white culture and black culture, because where even if you're kind of trash and okay, you still, people want you to talk your it's shit. It's because these white guys got or a else. bunch of Amber Heard's mothers and shit. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> they don't have that kind of confidence. Like, their mothers don't uplift. Oh, you know why I mean? is people, my bad? People lean into the idea that Oh, this is comedy. Like I need to be like so. People get into comedy and they'll start like dressing worse, looking worse. I did that for a and whole shit year. Like I feel you, and I, I, I went through that too. Year, Some women nigga, do it, and I understand broke, nigga. why. As soon as I, I, paid, pay, I, soon as I got paid for comedy, nigga. I come in, drip the fuck out. Like, see me? I don't what, never know who's gonna be but there. But still funny, and a lot of people don't. They're like, oh no, you can't, you can't fucking have muscles and be a comic. You can't do that. And I'm just like, what? Nah, man, what is I any wanna, of that? I want to do. I want to be a sex symbol because I I know it's bigger than comedy. Real shit. I know comedy is just comedy is just what I'm using to open the door right. into the rest of my life. And as soon as you get into comedy, people in the industry are like, hey, nigga, clean yourself up. Yeah, like, bro, be more presentable. Yeah. Start going to the gym because you, you want to work more. I already think about what I'm going to wear when I do my first special, nigga. Right. I'm going, I might really like try to bring back like Eddie, like that the Prince leather? look, do nigga. That. Like, I might really come out on a leather, bro, leather thing. You I, know what I mean? spent an hour watching Eddie Murphy premiere on Late Night like of uh, uh, David Letterman. The man was a fucking star, bro. Yeah, yeah. From it, it was no, there was no him, Kim, Eddie. He was a, a star the whole time to the point where he couldn't even become a better comic in my because yeah. he was nineteen and blowing up he and was twenty so and blowing good. up. He it was, reached his peak. It was no, it's the truth because at every interview they're just asking, him, but what do you think about this? The last one was number one. You think this was gonna be number one too? And you could tell at the time, every that time he you. dropped a movie, all people were thinking about were, yo, is your next movie gonna top the last one? It did a hundred million dollars, it did this. And you could tell it was all about yo, Eddie's movies. When's the next movie? This one did good at Beverly, Beverly Hills Cop, um, coming to America. And every it was to the point where yo, DC, you took an Adderall No, 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 I did yeah, it. I did, I did. This is not no no no. I took an Adderall last week. Yo, he he you, was you, moving. I know cocaine in her. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I'm a double espresso I was, though. I was, oh, <laughs> but speaking of, D, can we talk about? Can, can we segue to DC's energy real quick? For uh, DC went up at Black Ass Comedy Show this past Sunday. Did he catch a body? 
Oh, I did. He, he, um, you did what? I, I don't hesitate. Wait, 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 wait. The way Dylan said, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. She was like, the body was like crawling out and like almost alive, and then right at the last moment. Okay. So he lost him for a second, but then he murdered. Her. I want to say no, lost. I him. ran the light. I, I ran the light. That's it was what just referring to. And instead of getting off on that last big lap, I decided to end with a Bill Cosby joke. And it was okay. And it got a decent laugh. It was good. And then at the tag, they I don't think they hear it because in the middle of the tag, I was like, all right, give it up for Derek and Dave, and that's it. And I got off stage. But it's so uh, funny okay, because okay. When so you, you just didn't end. This, you didn't. You, you didn't talk about it. end on that big close. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which and sometimes I yeah, it happens sometimes. You're crazy. I, it, it does. Start, but, I'm like I, fuck. But now. you know, you you know what I mean. You get. They try Wait. to give you five minutes. You can't Kevin do five was, Kevin minutes. was trying to give you the benefit of the it's, doubt. It's tough, especially when you... he was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Do you know where the light is at Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, big fuck you. Big you fuck you. To get the DC. Big fuck you. DC. 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 We're already doing a lot of editing on this episode. I'm going to give you one DC? more chance to I do that better. DC. <laughs> Comedy hero, bro. Yo, you my comedy hero. Bro. I hate him. Yo, this guy. See, that yo, was the wrong he's answer. Like, he, goes, he goes, Oh no, I definitely saw that. I saw shit. The light. I saw the light. Oh me, I saw it. Has Kev ever gone up at Black Ass yeah, Comedy? Yeah. Oh well, uh, how'd you? Do? Only when I was hosting. He could have did. He could have did a lot. I, he, but he opened. It's a hard. I'm gonna tell you, it can be a hard room sometimes. I'm gonna say this. Well, not. Well, I, should, I don't I, know. I gotta find. I ain't gonna lie. It's a pretty fun room. It's fun as fuck. I've seen my nigga Dylan get chopped off at the knees. That Lieutenant Dan, this nigga one. <laughs> I can't feel my leg. Like, I was like, you know what? And my nigga, he took it. He took it in stride. Well, mm-hmm. best as he could, being legless. <laughs> but like, he it, took it. He took it in limp. Yeah. I was like, I was like, Dylan, if you can't flip on your hands, or <laughs> you make, make it. <laughs> but I, it's funny because the things that we, we've been, me and Kevin have been trying to tell our friend DC, like, hey man, we watch you on stage, stop doing this, you're doing this, and when your friends tell you, it's easy to be like, alright bro, you know, I know what I'm doing, but it's funny when Derek goes, Derek Gaines goes, hat too low, can't wait, see Wait, wait, face. wait, no, no, start, start it off, start off properly, he said, he, he did very well, he did alright, he said he did very well, I might have added his the hat very. was too low, <laughs> couldn't see his eyes, and he didn't plant his feet, he, well, said, he said he laughed at his own jokes. Yeah, yeah. Thank, why'd you why'd you mull okay. over that but one? Because I, I do laugh about that. I know that. Yeah. No, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I would take that from Derek too. It sounds yeah. better from somebody who's the, in I, the game. Is that what I said? <laughs> I'm over here looking at Dylan like you've been doing this shit six months too. No, 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 I said the same no, thing. No, no, Derek. They don't said have the me. same weight. No, no, I agree. I agree. And the reason why I said it is because we had the same exact comment. He said it to me. I was like, that's different hearing that from Derek than it is some fucking Booker who's telling me about my your materials too edgy. Like, bro, shut up. You know what I mean? What are you talking about? It's not come back in three to six months. My material isn't going to change. It's just going to keep being what it is. But when he's like. He didn't plant his feet. I understood when he said that. I felt that because I felt like my feet weren't planted up there, even though I did good. But the reason why I'm saying that is because what you mean when your feet were planted? I, like, I mean, like, I walk the stage. It exactly. depends on what type of style you got. Right, Some right. people, you know, they stand right here at the mic and That's they tell their yeah. Joke. But so I, I think I think there's a limit of like no. Um, I, I think this is what it is. Like for, sitting in, like you like can't you, pace the entire yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. I think this is what it is for because I do this. I do the same thing. I, I've watched Chris Rock, so I like to you know what I mean to walk around the stage or look at the side of the crowd. It has right? to be purposeful. Yeah. Well, what I'm you saying, you ain't in Madison Square Garden, nigga. Exactly, no I'm not walk. in Madison. And also, <laughs> also, bro, you got five minutes. Just stand and deliver. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah less <laughs> distraction, nigga. Exactly, you don't have the type of time exactly. again. Stop it's saying you know exactly. you had five minutes when you ran the light. <laughs> How long yeah. did you run just, the light, Dylan? Like three, three minutes. Seconds. Seconds. God, no way. Now, that's like disrespectful. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. By three, they would have said the light. Wait, wait. Dave would have came up to me and be like, "Hey, you did good, man." If I if I was like ran the light. DC, did I send you your tape? Yeah, you did. How long was the tape? I didn't watch it yet. I didn't uh, watch it. <laughs> it's like eight minutes. It's an eight-minute tape. It's an eight-minute no tape. No way. Yes. What? When I exported it and it was like a gigabyte, I was like, God, this motherfucker. No Why way, is this bitch bro. taking three hours to download? <laughs> 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 I'm always telling Kev stop blowing the light because I had a, he did the show once and I lit this guy like eight minutes, bro. I I sent him the video. Or he taped the video. That shit was twelve minutes. I was like, Jesus Christ! Kevin. What, uh, Natalie? What do you have to say? It's uh, seven minutes and fifty-five seconds. Oh, she has it. Oh, you know. Oh my God. How it's does saved Natalie on know? the desktop of Gas Digital. Oh, oh my God. Archives. Yo, <laughs> Delete yeah. that right now. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So I blew the light by two minutes and change. Fifty-five, <laughs> nigga. What is five cent? So, hey, yo, we round up at the farm. He's like, he's like 11 no. he's like, that ain't 12. That Bro. is not 12. But I, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, but I'm saying that to say. I was trying to be funny. It's almost seven years I've been doing comedy. I cannot do five minutes, bro. You've been doing it for seven years? Yeah. Like, go. Well, like, that's the thing. Well, I, mean, it's, I, I mean, that sounds fine and dandy. 
But if if you had an opportunity to do the Tonight Show, you wouldn't tell him, to I do, can't do five minutes. I, you wouldn't tell him that. You'd find a way to get it down to five Phil's minutes. Phil's throwing, I, I, I he's throwing facts. I would. He's I'd throwing prob- facts. I'd probably make a joke like, five, are you sure five minutes? Because I can do eight. And they were like, you know what? We're not sure about you. <laughs> 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 we have a whole line. But, so, no, by the way, <laughs> I mean, DC, I know you're trying to make a joke there, but it's so funny. He goes, are, are you sure? Like... No, no, we are sure. There's commercials. There's a time limit. There's a schedule. <laughs> we barely want you to do right. the five. Sir, you're no, you're no, here no, because you, you begged us. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. Please run this like so we can just not air. Never, this never air this again. <laughs> But no, it was. But like you said, I was performing like I had mad time, yo. I'm about to be, but I didn't, you know. But I just like you said, it's fun. I got. To and where it. did you start coming? I start here, in New York. I started at Broadway Comedy Club. It was the first open mic I did in 2015. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, you're yeah, like this. And, <laughs> and then that's um, and after mostly New York, I've Jersey. I did some mics in L. A. But not like nothing like. Okay, so you were in L. A. for a minute or something. I lived in L. A. I lived in L. A. for two years, but I didn't start comedy out there. I was mostly I was managing a retail store, and I was trying. I was like looking for acting gigs and shit oh, like okay, that. Phil, yeah. you you have any like uh, so like you know I think the planting the feet was a good um. Uh, a good suggestion I think for any comic mm-hmm. do you have any like keys for like your 11 years in you got comf- I'm gonna say you got comfy these past 6 months you on your Phil Duckett shit yeah, yeah um, you, you you have like let's say someone said oh what's the one thing that's changed in the last 6 months in maybe your style your stand up your delivery I, I, I don't I mean I think I'm just really <laughs> comfortable now like in my own skin like you know like I'm, I'm not chasing the laugh like I used like I still mm. want to be the funniest out there and normally I, I am but <laughs> I'm not like you know I used to have this rhythm in my head because I know where the laughs were supposed to right, come but right. it was like a certain cadence and like mm-hmm. I'm not cadence but like rhythm to my jokes where I knew mm-hmm. where it was supposed to crescendo and all right. that shit and then if it didn't hit at that point You'd they hit it. the note mm-hmm. it's like oh they must it must suck tonight or you know what I mean and I, I think the more I got just kind of been in this and watching older comics and just talking you know, even getting to talk to Chappelle and shit. Like, it's just like, you don't chase the laugh nah. like that. You know what I mean? Like, you don't, every, it don't have to be a rhythm. You ain't bang, 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 bang. Cause just, I mean, yeah. as a, now as a young comic, it kind of does, yeah. which yeah. they don't realize. Now that I'm in the club, you're right. Mm-hmm. I'm past, I can kind of chill a little bit. So this, so it is a difference. That's why I don't want to say what's good for the good. There's like less for the angst gander. behind yeah, it. Yeah. When you coming up, you got, people got to know you a killer because exactly. we in a fucking bar. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I yeah. got to get out of this bar show. <laughs> so I got to be bang, bang, bang. I need, I, need to I need everybody in the bar to hear me, me making y'all laugh. Yeah. But now, like I said, now where we're at, where I feel like I'm at, yes, yeah, the one thing I would say is, Take your time. I even tell you that. You talk so yeah. fucking fast on mm-hmm. stage, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? You be rambling sometimes. And I'd be like, just chill. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, yeah. Because you gotta, you gotta give the audience time to even process some of the jokes. Sometimes mm-hmm. jokes are a little, to you, they're simple, but to these motherfuckers, they deep as hell. Yeah. And you over here, by the time they get the joke, you were already in the middle the of another part, punchline. Yep. And it's like, damn, you, you would have got way more laughs. You just would have slowed down. And that's how you find. Ta- that's also how you find tags too. Yeah. Which, yeah. Right. When you slow down and you sh- like, you kind of feel what they feel and like, oh, I think they feel like this. And so I'm gonna say this. That was the problem with doing five minutes for me, like as a place. Yeah, stop coming up with excuses, no, no, no. son. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. We, we, I we can't. Past that, bro. I tell too you many. You did jo- well. Five. I did, but two five minutes for me is if I if you put the pressure tight five, I'm gonna go a little bit too fast because Kevin Kevin can tell a story for three minutes straight. Almost four. My jokes aren't really like that. My jokes are. So you, it should be easier to do five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but I'm gonna so do. You're, you're I'm more do of a one-liner type. Choppy, closer. Choppy? When I started out, I was very. I did a lot of. I did a lot of so premise then they punch. Write premise five minutes punch. should be nigga. That's like that's like two specials. For you, <laughs> <laughs> my, I'm like him. Yeah, my bits are like more stories. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm like three to four minutes. I know. He's like story. that's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, so 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 again, the five minutes five should minutes be harder is, for him. No, no. It's right. That's one joke for him. Whereas the what I'm that's saying is five lights. minutes. Five minutes. Five jokes. Every a joke a minute. That's going too fast. Like he was talking about, people aren't getting a chance to digest or whatever. But you, or going, you want to do all, you want to do every joke. Whole catalog. But you can't but do, don't that. do that. Yeah. You got to pick your fucking yeah, dude, yeah. the ones that ain't like. I'm trying to dig in the B side. The best one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, nigga, he ain't, nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga got a cassette tape. See, you yeah. barely got an A side. Focus <laughs> on the A side. Like, like, make, make a confirmed yeah. classic and then you can. Then go to the beast. But and I like can't do that in five shit, minutes. Well, with your shit, with you telling stories, like I did, like uh, what, yeah. what helped me was talking to like at the older comics, and they were like, I was trying to, my my stories are so long, and they're, like um, I remember the first time I did perform for Greer, he was like, bro, them stories is funny as fuck. He said, but you did three 
stories in fucking seven minutes. He was like, each one of them stories is a 10 minute fucking set, bro. So he, he said, you ain't going deep. Out. You ain't going yeah, deep yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, you just hitting the surface it's of this shit. Yeah, yeah. And then you moving on. He's like, now what would the other person in that story, what would their perspective? Yeah. And we start thinking like that. Yeah, I might, when I'm my oh, 10 minutes, so I might cool. only have one, only told one joke. Yeah. But, but it seems so... like I've gone everywhere because I've tagged it up so much and yes. I got callbacks. Yeah. And then at the end, it's like, bang, but we still on this motherfucker. So it's and like, hold I on. I didn't start stretching them yeah. out until about four years in the comp. Like, yeah. really during the pandemic, I really looked at- You just changed the whole bit for me right there. Yeah, that's what I'm you saying. Did. Right there, what you yeah. saying, like, what's you the You giving your whole perspective. You ain't it's never thought how this motherfucker was thinking, listening to your stupid ass. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's about to really run lights. This Like, y'all got a lot more. I watched Kev, Kev you like 15, 20 minutes at, at our show, <laughs> and he told three or four different stories, and they were good. People were like hanging in there, first beginning, middle, and end. And I'm just like, my like that's my sets just aren't really like that. Like I, I need to like I just started stretching them out, figuring out how to get more out of it, get more out of this, and talking more about my life and not just joke writing. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. anybody can write it like a generic. Well, that's joke. what it is, and that's yeah. what people as you get to do and getting comfortable. Yeah, like um, I think that's what I'm starting to figure out. Even about my jokes is. Um, I pride myself like my favorite comedian of all time is Bernie Mac. Like you know, what I mean? like, I've Mac, always yeah. and so my my boys like the older heads and even like my peers. They're like Phil, you have your own cadence about you. Like mm-hmm. your own, yeah. you know when you're on stage. Like that's Phil. Like you just know my voice, and I take pride in that. But at the same time, my jokes are authentic. You have to put your real life into yeah. it because people will steal jokes if they hack or generic because they can. But you can't even if you said my jokes verbatim. It ain't going to hit like how I say because you don't right. talk how I talk and you ain't got the feeling like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's, that's why people really... can't take your shit because it's ain't organic got to you. Right. Yeah, that's you how ain't ducking. That's how I feel about Kevin's shit. You can't really, you can't steal a five-minute story. Because right. you can't talk about getting uh, raped uh, by your uncle because he uh, felt that. Yo, <laughs> Phil, I told you that in confidence, <laughs> Phil. Hey, yo, Phil, I told you that in confidence, bro. <laughs> Guys, this is dope to be done. Wait, wait, I want to finish something. What you want to finish? So last week, I got, uh, two weeks ago, I got a, a series of text messages I shared. Oh, oh yeah, from this... your uncle. <laughs> hey, yo, Phil. Oh. I was like, damn, nigga. It was about the shorty, and, and uh, I was having a bad day. Who Phil. watches this, by the way? Yeah. And, um, well, that's why I did it while we were an hour six in, because I'm sure she stopped. She's not gonna listening. make it to that part. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all might make it to the end. <laughs> This so, part's just for us. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll clip it for her. Yeah. <laughs> so. Damn, you Amber Heard apologist. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me that. I don't. You, I mean, the way you've been acting today. Yo, oh, B. Dude, yo, 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 I'm on one right now. I got a couple of Jamie shots in me. Let's go, my Mr. Boy, Phil Duncan. All right, all right. We got so, to go ahead, Kevin. So, you're running the light. So, so hey, yo, my man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the goddamn story. <laughs> so, you know, I was feeling bad that day. Yeah. She sent me a bunch of like thoughty messages that made me feel good about life, you know? So, she comes through to New York City. She got us the hotel. And I didn't want to smash. Why? Bro, I just wasn't into it. And I'll tell you why. Because she. She we, we, penis? Nah. <laughs> Can I just say real quick, if you heard the text messages, you wouldn't believe that he didn't smash. If you heard what they were saying to each other, you'd be like, what? But how weak does she got to be? I don't fuck Bro, this is what happened. We were, we were walking, and she was like, my GERD is acting up. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. My GERD? What my is GERD. GERD. It's you like the girdle that holds their stomach back. Most bitches call them waist trainers. That's, so not, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, my that's God. Not, oh, what's a what GERD mean? is acid reflux on a thousand. Oh, that bitch yeah. had an ulcer in her stomach. Yeah, <laughs> oh, nasty ass motherfucker. She was belching and farting and shit. <laughs> she was like, "So you trying to she do was, something to what?" Uh, she's like the alien predator. She's just spitting out acid. I just felt like that was some shit you <laughs> only say to like somebody you're you been married to. Yeah. Or, nah, I'm not boyfriend. I'll dump you after yeah. that shit, bro. But like, <laughs> my girl. So we walk. I'm like disgusted, and then she goes, "I'm." She's fucking. your girlfriend. Yeah, she, <laughs> Not bad. That's stupid as hell, but that's not bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't you got to get the dad jokes off when yeah. you can't because you can't yeah. move on stage. And that's your favorite, yeah. that's your favorite joke is dad and, jokes. In, in regular settings. Yeah. like regular, You can only tell bad jokes off stage. You know what I mean? Oh, on this podcast. <laughs> Especially. So then she goes, I'm going to do something unladylike. And I was uh, like. Set it up for you. No. You already did. Yeah. Telling me you yeah. I, I have your girl actor. And then she goes. <laughs> it spit so hard, bro. And then we go to the hotel, and I was like, yo, I don't want to have sex. Yeah. And she paid for this hotel and stuff, so yeah, I felt I terrible, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, you got some hair. Stop playing. Nah, I fucked her in the morning. 
right, nigga. You right. Yo, but, yeah, but, but by the way, by the way, that's but, how trash but, guys are. Even if we didn't smash, the one time we chose not to smash, we were like, guys. But it's hey, yo, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something though? It's a new day. It's a new one. It was the morning. It had nothing to do with her. Yeah, that's why you got the boner. You're like, I might as well bury the bone. Like yesterday's chick is not today's chick. Yeah, her curve stopped backing up, bro. <laughs> Yesterday's okay. curve is not today's <laughs> curve. Did she go down on you? You didn't get none of that curve on nah, your Nah, it was just straight you? to put. It was dick straight to pussy. Straight to pussy. Straight yeah. to pussy. It was no foreplay. It was a little bit of kissing, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, after she was pushing like, and shit. Yeah. Yo, what is yeah. like after? Oh, flim mouth oh. ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, stop. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Damn. So anyway, this is Jumped Up and Died. Sunday morning smoke show. You bitch. (laughs) Y'all go to church. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, again, give it up for DC Williams, Phil Duckett, Kevin Sanchez, and I'm Dylan J. Negri. Thank you guys so much. Natalie DeChico on the keys. Guys, we'll see you next week for Jumped Up and Died. Peace.